big difference between saying I like what you did and you drew that because it doesn't have to be that you like it yeah. that's you personally that's right. very different you know? and it's, it's subtle but I, I think it I think it makes a over over time when they hear it a hundred times it really I think words really do matter and we can't drive each other crazy though. you said do you like it and in the response you're not really answering whether you like it or not if I asked somebody, do you like this, and they didn't answer that, I'd be like, that's a little weird. Like, honestly, oh, like, okay. So, good question, right? So, if they keep going, you know, you you could try the empathy if you're really trying to shift a kid who's really fixed on, you know, getting the feedback. They're dependent on it. And you, you could say something like, it's really important for you to hear what I think about it. I mean, th that would be the empathy. And they're like, yeah, what do you think? Just tell them. Or can yeah. we do D and then oh, just give them praise, like, oh, it's awesome. beautiful. At the end. At, yeah. the, at the end. Because you're being I, descriptive and then right. you're giving if them they want it and are asking. Just because she's asking. But you should look at my picture and do you different. like it? So you can yeah. say, so look, you used, But you know, try what? it. See what happens. Okay. Okay. See what happens. Um, yeah, <laughs> and see what happens inside of yourself. Okay. Because I'm going to send you some articles. One is called um, Getting Out of Their Way. It can create, like, at first, like, <coughs> you're like, what do I do? What is my role? Like, if, it, it's a funny feeling. Like, you feel like, oh, gosh, they're going to be so hurt if I don't. Yeah. They might be. Yeah. So you give it to them. Hi. How does it change the story when the parents or whoever she's asking, well, it's not a point where I feel like I'm the point where you like it. Yeah, I think that, that, that those words are helpful for them to hear. I think that really shift them by just describing. I think that would mix up the child even more. Oh. They're looking for praise. Oh. Yeah, they are looking for it. That is a little, that is a little dismissive. You're right. It is dismissive. Like, well, I want to know if you like it or not. Very Especially true. If they that is really, they that is dismissive. I, yeah, that, that's, that's true. They do want to know if you like it. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, you don't need to not tell them. Like, or that you appreciate that they even showed you. Yeah. Can you say that we all are looking for, like, we need our the needs and wants met. And that's kind of like what she needs. She kind of needs yeah. the great. She's doing that yeah. for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. And your goal is that, that there's a little bit that starts her taking pride in it like herself but yeah. it's really when you're thinking about a kid you know those kids who are just their whole worth is wrapped up with their your approval yeah. and so it's just a way to shift them mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with me there's a nice job emma tends to monopolize has tends tends to monopolize her time today she waits patiently while you finish helping another child so we had a, one of these okay i could use your help when when you finish, when you, I could use some help when you finish. So which one's the descriptive reinforcement? It's D. It's D. I knew you could wait. Or you're very kind. Thank you for waiting. 
D is really descriptive. And you know, when you say D and you look at them like you saw I was working with someone else, watch their face, they're like, yes I did. It just feels different. You feel so seen. You feel seen. Yeah. It's like, how do you do you it's feel? It's like a little per like a little girl inside of you. Yeah. Like, oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You, and and you feel better when you deliver it. Like it's so cute when you see their face. And their behavior changes when you use more descriptive words when you talk to them. They I don't know, the, 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 just the day is a lot better. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're more comfortable in the classroom, they're more confident. And they feel seen, like, yeah, yeah. 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 It's like, I know you, mm -hmm. you wanted Always. to get up and you stayed seated until I was finished. Thank you. It's so I different than, like, I'm you did a good job. You are, yeah. I'm very descriptive with this one girl in my class, and I've had her over the year. And this girl now, like I don't have to, like I'm not descriptive with her as much anymore. Uh -huh. And sh this girl, she'll she she like anything for anybody. She'll see somebody like struggling with their book bag, and she'll pick it up, and she'll go and, like, and carry it. And, and she doesn't yeah. need praise. She doesn't need anything. But we yeah. see it. It's yeah. Like, wow, well, now it's internalized. You help her because what you say gets flipped around in their self-talk. Mm -hmm. So if you say you're smart. What happens when they make a mistake is they'll flip it around and say, I'm dumb. Mm -hmm. As opposed to saying, even though you felt like giving up, you kept going and right. you finished it. The next time they finish something, they're like, I, could, I did it. Yeah. I did it, I kept going. And if they don't, it's just, I stopped, I gave up. It's the same it's, thing if a like, child like, you know, gets hurt. Like this girl, um, she learned, uh, well, from me, she, she goes up to kids and goes, um, are you okay? Is there anything I could do to help? <laughs> and she, like she's she's five. She's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. And that's the really cool thing is you, you, yeah you can have this and they, like, they, and they keep it with them in the, the next days. in subsequent years. And they're younger who she's helping because they start acting more like mature too. It's so interesting. Yeah, we um a, we work together this summer and we um have three, four, and five year olds in the same it's, group. Yeah. And we notice that the five year olds help the three year olds. And the three-year-olds have so much more confidence yeah. and want to be just like the five-year-olds and like are trying to get to their level. Mm -hmm. And it really does help behavior, like in the classroom. Like you, 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 can really you don't have that many issues. The I love hearing this story. Yeah. And it cannot be opposite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. John tends to avoid challenges, but today he attempts. Wait, did I skip that one? Yeah. Okay. Great. Right. Although he was anxious, John decided to give soccer a try and ended up having a good time. Can I play again tomorrow? C. C. Yeah, although you were worried, you know, of one great, some of these you can get little template tricks. One that you can start with all the time is although you this, you that. Although you were worried, you gave it a try anyway. You gave it a go. And then you could add the impact and you, had, and you ended up enjoying yourself. As opposed to you're so brave. Because the next time they are afraid and don't try, what do they tell themselves? Yeah. I'm a coward. This is kind of the same thing, you know. Although you were scared, you gave it a try and threw it back and died. That took a lot of that took courage. Very different than you are afraid. Okay, so skills practice. So. I handed out these skills practice exercises, and I believe there are 11. They are, there are 11 on here. And let's let's try something different. Just see if this works. Pick four of whatever ones you want to pick, and let's see if we can evenly. I know it's crazy. <laughs> pick four, any four you want, and and come up with a descriptive reinforcement response, and then we'll go. Whatever for you want. You can do it together. <laughs> Everyone's going to do the first part. So I'm going to do that one. <laughs> one, two, three. Good night. Good night. I was thinking of it. Oh, Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Sorry, I tried that. <laughs> somebody did somebody didn't really work. Um, Rona. Well, I guess so. It's like instead of telling you, that's like praise. Somebody bothered you on the plate, and that's all. But you walked away. Instead, instead of like, I can hear you. I mean, did the kid really believe that? Did right. They, you know what I'm saying? Because they actually don't have that control at three. Yeah. So it's a little bit deceiving. Now, an alternative might be something like when they do it, comment on it. Even though that was hard, you did it. Like, you're, that took self-control. That took a lot of self-control. I think that I might recommend that approach. Because no kid has when you're power to control himself all the time. Then you just feel shame okay. if you don't. But is that like a judgment on your part when you're saying that? That is a judgment. I think but you are making okay. a judgment. Yeah, I mean, that's okay to, to do that. I guess not. Yeah. Well, I just think there's another way that can be more effective. I think, I think it is far more effective to comment when they're doing it and describe it and describe how hard it was and acknowledge they did it. I think that is going to increase. If your goal is to increase the child's self-control, that is going to get that goal accomplished way more than telling a kid they have the power to control themselves. Because not all kids do. They just don't. I don't. Yes, you don't study there. I have five-year-olds. Like, if you were to sit there and you said, you know, if someone, if I said that was on the next day, and the next day, um, she says you at situation happens and they don't get the news and when you go over to them, you don't want to say to them like, oh, that took a lot of self-control, but they don't understand this. So it's, it's like wording 
for a three and five year old. You might shift the word. So even though so he like, made you mad. Yeah. Yeah. So you yeah. Because yeah. I. But they learn. The, they now. learn the self control. Right, so I say I that. that. They will learn what self control means by you saying that. Because right. I mean, I can just like. I guess I've said. You know. The fact that you should, even though you're frustrated, I'm glad you stay in. Can you? Because I'm a kid that kids it can all the time, and it's very impulsive about it. But you know, some days you choose not to. And on the days he chooses not to, that's when yeah, I Yeah, I might start with something, that was hard. Mm -hmm. Did it. Mm -hmm. That took a lot of control. They'll get yeah, it. Mm -hmm. They'll learn. Mm -hmm. just be sure. All right, you want to go? Number one. Just volunteers, please. Number one. Amy tends to be shy and reluctant to open up. Today, you learn she approached some children and asked them if they could play. They accepted. Descriptive reinforcement. Yes. Um, I asked to play and your effort work now you have more friends that you can play with next time. Yes, you're so smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Well, descriptive reinforcement to you would be, this is hard because it is changing the way you think about everything, but, but you followed the components and identified an effective descriptive <laughs> okay. You know, the hardest for me is once I teach this, especially to like the students in my graduate course, then when I give comments, I have to be scared so much harder. Because <laughs> after I do, I can't be like, that was really good. You can just, oh, you can just, excellent. Excellent. So you can just challenge them to find the wrong answers for you. So it's like part of your game. Oh, yeah. Go back no. to my old ones uh -huh. and reframe. Pass out stickers, you know, do that kind of stuff. <laughs> The sticker. <laughs> sticker. Good job. Right. And then of course they love the stickers, but I mean, fine. <laughs> you still use the Two. Two. That's fine. I just, you know. Jack was provoked on the playground today. <gasps> no! I got them all to clean up them. I, 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 Real I am not. Oh, you, should, you know, I yeah, do not work with those right. little ones very often. So <laughs> like I heard that work is great. There's some days where you just feel bad right. about bragging them, and at other days you're just like, yeah, you do you have it. Have you do it. Yeah. Exactly. Whatever works. Yeah. Whatever works. Jack was provoked on the playground today, but he walked away instead of engaging physically. Exactly what I said You did the right yes. thing today, Jack, by walking away, and so no one got hurt or upset. Right, that's good. That's so it. take the valuation out of it, wrong or right. Take that out. What did he do? You, you did it. You said, what did he do? He walked away. Okay, and then what was the outcome? No, no one, one got hurt. Yeah, right. Yeah. There. Just take, so the script of reinforcement is um, you're not evaluating good or bad. Good or bad. Right or wrong. You just described. Mm -hmm. what, what, what about but you, you did it. You described and then you identified the effect. What about that took a lot of self control? control. And that's that another one you could add to. And there's nothing wrong with saying you did the right thing. I actually find that to be. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's, just, it's just not descriptive reinforcement. So. I, I, the reason why I hit on that was because in reading the Brene Brown stuff and seeing it over and over again, I think it can get flipped to shame. And I think shame is so highly correlated with aggression and bullying. And when they, so when they don't do it, a kid who says to themselves, I'm a bad kid, I did the wrong thing, they're more likely to act out and hit again. So, so just it's like, it's not even necessary. You just throw it away. Now, that being said, if I, if, if it's not an impulse thing, and it's a cognitive decision, like a child goes out of their way to be kind or respectful, I might say that that was the right thing to do. Like, where there was a, where there was an existential struggle, or like, uh, you know, and I guess you could argue I'm really doing the same thing, but... It's probably about their ex your expectation. Like if it's a child who has impulse control and they can't always control yeah. it, that if they're right or wrong, it's not always in their control. That, yeah, that, but that's when they can the control way I feel it, about maybe. It. That's a good distinction. It might be that, like, that they can control certain things, but it would be easy for them to accomplish it again. It wouldn't yes. be something that would be hard yes. for them to accomplish. Yes. Again. Yes. Yes. 
that's a tricky one because I do yeah. think there's value in the right and wrong thing. I don't know it's where it's close to good boy, bad boy. That's what it I'm is. Say. It is. It is. Yeah. yeah. Which there's some truth in that. So, all right. I think a four. Oh, this is very simple. All right, let's skip that one. Sorry, George, age five, is slow in the morning, making it hard to get out the door on time. Seems to be in his own world. Today he managed to get himself dressed and get into the car on time. I like the Yeah. So, welcome to my world. Okay. You got yourself dressed and out the door on time without any reminders. And then I would put. Thank you for making our morning so pleasant. Yeah, but, I would too. I mean, I'm totally <laughs> busy. I don't know, what, I don't know what skill that is, but I would. Uh, I, I personally would say, you know, if you're going by the skills, a personal message would be, thank you so much. I was so much less stressed this morning. Great. So, okay. Just, uh, yeah. Um, okay. So and the, the other question. thing, the other thing I like to hit on on this one, I'm always think. So on the next next few that we do before you say the answer, think about what is it that I'm trying to reinforce. So in this one, it's that he did something different. I don't know what it is, but he figured out how to create some system. You don't know what it is. So it might be something like, you know, even though it's usually hard, you did something different today, and you figured out how to get to the problem. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but I would want to know what it is. Um, let's do, what's another one you want to do? Go ahead, throw it out. <coughs> Alright, how about this? Susanna, age five, loves to read stories before bedtime, although there's a two book rule. She usually asks over and over again. Tonight, she doesn't even ask, though you know she wants to read two more stories. So what is it that you're reinforcing? Not begging, not the asking over and over and over. Again. Yeah. And what else did she rule. do? She regulated herself enough to follow your own rule. She yeah. did. She and she thought about you. Mm -hmm. She she actually thought about somebody other than herself. She remembered that you're tired at night and it's important to you. Like you know. So what would your reinforcement be? Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. I mean, that, the remember, she remembered something. She thought about something. Although you like to read more than one story, you were thought, you know, you were um, you just remembered. Um, you were yeah, you remember yeah. that that is that it's yeah. too much for the night, you know, something yeah, like that. Yeah, and then thank you. Yeah, it's a, it's a long night, and I'm tired. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Liam H. Four is often rambunctious. Today he stays quiet while I beat his sister sleeping color <coughs> to your desk. Anybody do that one? So let's try that one. So, okay, so Liam H. Four is often rambunctious and wakes his baby sister. You've tried to explain there needs to be quiet time, even even on days where when he doesn't take a nap. Today, he stays quiet while his sister and colors quietly next to your desk. All right, what are you reinforcing here? Because there could be a couple things. Stay quiet. That he stayed quiet. That he stayed quiet. What did it take to stay quiet? He's suspecting being that he's he remembered that it's important that she gets her sleep. What else? He found something else to do. He figured something else out that he found interesting that didn't require making noise. Yeah, so what would your descriptive reinforcement be? I said, I just said, you colored so quietly while your sister was napping. I mean, yeah. What else, though? What, what was you, so you described it. Uh -huh. Right. Which is I like adding though, like something along the lines, like like if I'm this kid, I want to feel seen. Like it is hard for him to be alone and be quiet because he likes a lot of activity. Like today, he figured out how to entertain himself and still 
feel, I don't know. I think it was still I mean, thoughtful. Right. It was thoughtful for his sister. Yeah. Um, well, we don't know if he was thoughtful to his sister. I'm, I'm assuming that he was thoughtful to you because it's important so you're to you. Right. Yeah. Um, see, now they get pretty easy once you have that all, though, don't they? All right, anybody want, do you want to try another one? Or do you, do you feel like you have this? Mm -hmm. I think you do, too. All right, so what I thought we'd do and end on is um, working on one. Going back to your examples that you pulled last time, do you want to pick a different one? Please do. Um, but adding on to that, what identifying in your collaborative goal setting, you know, last session, uh, you identified a challenging situation. Last week at the end, remember? I didn't know where you were. Yeah, you did, right? Everybody did. Yeah, you worked in groups and you had some examples that you were working on. I mean, to goal yes, collaborative goal setting. And you had some individual ones that you had identified. And it was towards the end. Yeah. It was, like, it was kind of like the skills practice for that one here. So Roshi has this. I'm going to just pull this up. Is this what it looks like? You see it? Oh, okay. So let me know when you all have yours. Is everybody a group person here? Does everybody have somebody that they work with last time? Because you'll remember each other's examples. You weren't. Okay. Um, and Allison wasn't either. I'm going to come over with you. So, uh, oh good, great. Do you have it? I have it. Yeah. Oh, you do. Good. Do you? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. you okay. Well, we can work. Um, I need to get you that next time. It was in the email. Yes. Okay. So what you're gonna do now? is, I, I think we just got through one of you last time, is that correct? Yeah. Okay, uh -huh. so how many of you had a chance to try it? Try whatever example. Oh, yeah. try it? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, sort of, but beforehand, so that doesn't really count. <laughs> yeah. Anybody have a chance to try? Okay. The goal, goal setting examples that you... The collaborative? <laughs> yeah, well, kind of, in my, in my well, bunk. Um, I had two kids that liked playing with cars. They wanted the same cars, uh -huh. and um, one started crying, and then the other kid started crying. So I was like, "Hey, I gotta go over there." And um, I took the three cars away that they both wanted, uh -huh. and I said, "Let's figure this out." And um, I said, "I want you both to be happy, and I want you both to have fun in the classroom with the cars." Um, and I. I noticed that you both want them, what, like, and I and I told.